From the vault. From the vault. So uh, we did a sensor Sunday. Um, you were showing some stuff from the upcoming clue board. So uh, let's show what you were working on. All right, Lady Data, what is this? Hey, it's Saturday sensor time, and I'm doing on-device magnetometer calibration for the Adafruit clue board. It has a magnetometer, and you have to calibrate it. So you'll see when I've got the raw sensor data, and I spin it around, and I flip it around, and all that good stuff. You'll see I have kind of like a blue ball, a green ball, and a red ball. And these are the X, Y, and Z offsets. And when I press the A button, it'll calibrate based on that data. So then I spin all the way around. Next time I run it, the balls are more centered and zeroed on the X, Y, and Z axis. Calibrated data. Cool. Okay, and so that's the red prototype version of the clue, so I am thrilled to share, um, I think this is the first time we've shown it. This is the uh, front and back silk. Um, you can see it, the board's called Clue. Uh, the iconography has a cute little magnifying glass in the letter C. There's fingerprints on each button. There's little footprints. It's definitely in the mystery type theme. It's probably very gonna mysterious. Do, probably going to do a few more things, but this is looking pretty good. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting to the alpha release. Getting there. So I put a spot for a speaker, although I'm not sure whether we're going to have a speaker on the final We'll have version. an add-on no matter what. Yeah. So, um, And then if you just wanted to see what it looks like um, after we do this, great silk screen and then start rendering. That's what it looks like. Yeah, and uh, one thing I wanted to add is it uh, runs TensorFlow Lite. So if you're into the machine learning, the AI, the tiny ML, it runs it. That's coming soon. Um, we're thinking about doing a coin, and uh, I don't know exactly when or where. Um, I think in the John Wick universe, you can murder someone with one uh, coin, but I don't. I think this is going to be used. Or to, get like Dunkin' Dun Dun's yeah, coffee or something. I think ours are just going to be used to be nice to each other. Yeah. Um, but that is uh, one of the things that um, we're, we're working on. So I want to show a little bit of preview. And then the other thing is, um, this was the first demo of, uh, I'll let it pass me. This is the first demo, like hot off the press, of using Circuit Playground Blue Fruit and a iOS app called Bluefruit Playground, which we have right now. And all of the things that we wanted to do with um, like puppetry and, and AI and more over the last few years. So I'm gonna try to do a live demo of that. Um, okay. Beginning of the show I did. Um, okay, select it, found yeah, it. Yeah, so we'll see how this works out. So um, the idea is you would be able to, um, you know, I'm going to go back with this, see how this works out. Yeah? Yeah. I'm going to be dangerous now. Ooh. Um, so the idea Deadly. is you'd get a Circuit Playground Blue Fruit. And, uh, oh, my God. You've been replaced with yeah, your and I'm going to, I've been replaced. It's, it's about time. Um, yeah. So the idea is you'd get a Circuit Playground Blue Fruit. You can see this in my hand here. And notice it's wireless. No wires, nothing attached. But you can do things like have a control of puppet. Um, and this is live all on the internet right now. This is a video that's coming off my iPhone. And I knocked out the background so it, you know, looks like it's real and it's here. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a nice effect. Like, I could just get out of here. Bye. Hey. And, you know, now off screen, I'm a puppet. You know, hi, I can't believe my project blew up. And then, you know, I, I could press a button. Right? And then, uh, what? <laughs> what? Uh -huh. <laughs> so, you know, what we wanted to do is imagine anyone could be a puppeteer and anyone could start to make stuff like this. So all you need is a Circuit Playground Blue Fruit and uh, a device like a phone. And you can make stuff like this too. It's very neat. Yeah, interesting, you know, technology. We're looking at, you know, what people have done with, with sensors and we kind of come across some, like, puppeteering projects. We're like, that's a really good idea. Yeah, I've been trying to do this for, like, 14 years. Yeah. Um, and the other neat thing is you could take this and uh, you could give a kid one of the, you know, like a little cloth glove or even, like, a brown paper bag. And the idea is, uh, and I'll hold it like this, the idea is when you talk like you would with a puppet, it talks too. 
So this is, uh, this is the first time I've seen anything like this, certainly live streaming. And, uh, you know, we're just getting there. And this is just an accelerometer. So, like, some of the stuff we're doing this, with IMUs, yeah. I think you could get even better. You know, you'd actually be able to do even more sensing and, and gestures. And then, you know, maybe we would do some of the machine learning stuff that would recognize, hi, hello, uh, well, bye. Uh, you could, you know, recognize gestures and act in different ways. Yeah. And the other thing that we're going to do is, because all this stuff works with Stemma and all of our sensors, um, imagine being able to like blow into a sip and puff sensor and Sparky gets bigger and bigger, or it's another character, or it's a bird and its feathers fluff up. So I, I think we're going to look back at this and say like, oh, this was like the beginning of a lot of DIY um, electronic puppetry and AR. Um, there is a app that I really like called Yo Puppet that uses your arm. There's a company called Thinko, where they're making a digital uh, uh, puppet system, um, and they use our electronics. I, I contacted them, so check out my article. But um, this is what we're doing for our folks. You can get Circuit Playground, uh, Cir mm -hmm. get Circuit Playground Bluefruit now as a device, and you can get um, Bluefruit Playground in the App Store right now. And when we turn on this feature, we'll have an update shortly. Um, it'll automatically update your app, and you'll be able to do this uh, as well. So I hope folks like this. All right, this is cool stuff. Yeah, this in the VR, it's been weird. That's top secret. Weird times.